Happy New Year to everybody. Sid here. Uh, today, I was watching some stuff online and I came across a an interesting bit of information about uh, a couple of fellas that maybe y'all have heard of, maybe not. I didn't know about these guys until about a year ago myself. Um, it was Igor and Grichka Bogdanov. They are twin brothers of uh, Russian descent, and uh, the both have since it, both in the last week have passed from complications due to COVID. Um, so you may, like I said, if you haven't heard of them, you may ask, you know, what makes these two people so interesting? It's, uh, make, what makes them different? Well. Uh, besides being descended from royalty. Uh, they were both born in uh, 1949, in August. Their father was des descended from Russian royalty, and their mother was descended from Austrian royalty, and was a countess, and lived in France, where, uh, and they were the, they lived in France with their, their grandmother, and they lived in a castle, and they were the oldest of six kids. Um, their mom, on an interesting side note, was conceived when her her mom, their grandmother, had a brief affair with a fellow by the name of Roland Hayes. Um, this particular guy was also very interesting in his own right. He uh, was born in 1887 in rural Georgia to a former slave. He was he was of African American descent. Well, I guess it would have been African American back then. I don't. I don't. They didn't have that word yet. But uh, he is believed to be the first black classical musician to make a commercial recording. So that's that is a very significant, uh, a very significant thing on his part that he was able to achieve. Very, 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 very significant. So a very interesting little segue there. Um, and also, because of this affair, and her subsequently having her daughter, um, her the, the grandmother was expelled from the Austrian nobility because of the affair. Uh, they were raised, like I said, by their grandmother in a castle in Gascony, France. Uh, Kritschka has been married four times and has six kids. Igor was never, mar never married and has no kids. They could speak four languages. German, French, Russian, and English. From what I, I heard, it was predominantly from, they learned it from people that were, that they, that were associated within their household that spoke these languages. Apparently, for like French, they, they picked up very quickly, according to what I read. But that, that's, I can, that's just, I, I, whether that's completely true or not, I'm not sure. I mean, it was like within the course of like, like a few months or something like that. It was very quick, according to what I read. Um, let's see, and they both were also airplane and helicopter pilots as well. Um, they co-authored a book called Keys to Science Fiction. They gained mainstream fame, in, at least in France, in 1979 with their show Tim's X, or Time X in English. Uh, they ran, the show ran for eight years in France and was a educational show featuring pop science and science fiction. Uh, type topics, and the show just made them in insanely popular in France. They had a few shows after that that didn't do nearly as well as that show did. Um, they also had doctorate degrees in uh, math and physics, I think it was. They were very, as in fact, what they went to college for. They were very studious when they were growing up, and uh, when they went to college, that's primarily what they focused on. Uh, but in their, but the doctorate degrees they attained were questioned for a long time based on, uh, see, in 2002, the, the, the questions surrounding their degrees would spin into a, a, an entire controversy that had its own name and everything. It was the Bogdanov affair. Um, it was speculated that both of their um, doctorate degrees were... The term that was used in where I, I looked up the information was it was termed as the they were spoofs. 
So basically it was just a bunch of far-fetched kind of theories that pretty much I think the the science establishment took took offense to that it wasn't like it was like pseudoscience it wasn't serious science uh, and uh, that it eventually though it all kind of lost steam and the claims were retracted against that were levied against the Bogdanovs and eventually the accuser apologized to them for what they had accused them of um Sub and you know after their their shows and stuff like that, they would become very predominantly involved in cryptocurrency. Um, and like I said, mostly prior to 2015, the Bogdanos were only known in France. Nobody really knew about them here. Uh, their pictures though started circulating on 4chan of all things, and that's where they became a meme because of the pictures. Now, of course, I will. I'm going to have all sorts of pictures in this of what they look like for those that maybe don't know who they are, haven't seen the pictures. Maybe you have seen the pictures, you just didn't have any idea who they were, what was behind them. Um, and, but ultimately, the, the, the mythos behind the men was it, it came from everything that was being circulated on 4chan. That's, that's where... They, they really gained steam in the U.S. Um, and let's see here. They were eventually... Uh, also, there were a lot of claims. I've got a few of them written down. There was a whole bunch more of other things that they were involved in, in addition to cryptocurrency. Supposedly, they, they were said to be extraordinarily... Uh, important and, and have a lot of pull and 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 such in you know like world politics, world affairs, stuff like that. That the <laughs> that other uh, families of uh, that would have a lot of power, let's say in the United States and around the world and stuff like that, you know, would bow down to them. That's that they had more power than anybody else is is what people claim. Um, that they're also and that they're also psychic. That they control Fr France, and they will bankroll the first cities on Mars. Supposedly, they own ninety nine percent of the DNA editing research facilities on Earth. Said to have two hundred plus IQs. I read one place it said two hundred plus, another place thing said two hundred and fifteen plus. Now a two hundred two hundred IQ, a two hundred and fifteen IQ. I guess that's just like completely off the charts. That's, you know, I, it's essentially, if I recall correctly, it's kind of unheard of to, to have that high of an IQ. And they do, according to according to what I found. Uh, and also the own, uh, their own nanobot R&D lab, or the own nanobot R&D labs around the world also. And uh, so they were both... Obviously, they're twins. They're both 72. Um, and I'll throw some pictures in there. You know, if any of y'all have ever heard of them, I guess leave me a comment down in the the comments. I'd kind of like to know if anybody else has heard of them or if this is your first time even being aware of these two guys existing. Um, and one thing I would like to mention is um, there was speculation as to, in the pictures, you will see that when they were a lot younger, when they were very young men. They were really attractive, nice-looking, you know, guys that with very, you know, the, the, the features that you would expect them to have based on, you know, where the, their, their heritage and so on. Uh, but then as they got older, as time passed, their their facial features started changing. Well, there at eventually there became a point where there was speculation as to why this was. And one one uh, thing that was speculated was that they had acromegaly. Now, if y'all have watched one of my other videos from not too long ago, I did one on Marianne Bevan, who had acromegaly. Well, one of the uh, when when acromegaly kicks in. 
It affects the size of the forehead, the nose, the jaw, in addition to hands and feet and so on, in addition to some other medical problems that it also tends to cause. And, uh, but that has been, pr well, first of all, they pretty much denied it that they didn't have acromegaly, but also when these changes started happening with their facial features, it would have been past a time when medically you would generally tend to expect to see these happening if they had acromegaly. So then the speculation was that, okay, if it's not a medical condition like that, then they're clearly doing this on purpose, more than likely through plastic surgery. <laughs> um, so that's probably where, you know, if you've, if you've watched things or read things about, you know, cra crazy plastic surgeries that people have done, this may be where you might have come across pictures of these two guys and not necessarily known the rest of their backstory. Uh, in fact, my my twenty five year old son, he's like, ah, I've never heard of him. But as soon as I showed him a picture, he said, like, Oh yeah, those guys. Okay, so I'm gonna have a whole bunch of those pictures in there, um, and I just I I thought that was a, a it was a very timely story to tell about these two guys that you know I, I don't know how much of the how much of what the what they did how much of it was true i mean how much of it was you know made up how much of it they just kind of yeah how, how much it, how much pull did the act did they actually truly have i mean they may have had some i don't know would have been interesting to find out i guess all right well thanks for stopping by and thanks for watching i as always i appreciate it and uh if y'all could give me a, a like and give me a comment down in the the comments that would be fantastic and if you could even subscribe to my channel. I would sincerely, sincerely appreciate it. So hopefully I may be coming to you with another video this week. I'm going to do my best if I can, maybe at the end of the week. And I'll be talking to y'all later. I hope, every, and also I hope everybody made it through all the weather that we've all been having across the country the last couple of weeks. We went through ours the last two or three days. It was I think we're going to be okay now. We didn't get hit nearly as hard as a lot of other places. So I consider ourselves really lucky down here. So y'all be safe. Y'all be good. And I'll be talking to you later. Bye.